Hi everyone, it's Melissa from The Hug Strap. I'm here today to teach you how to play Ico Ico in honor of Mardi Gras today. This song is relatively simple in terms of the chords. It's just a D and an A. The rhythm is a little bit trickier and there are two extra videos that you can go and check out if um, you need to have a little bit more of an in-depth in explanation of how to do certain techniques. We're using a left-handed muting technique as well as the Bow Diddley strumming pattern. I'm going to go over them briefly here, but if you need to spend a little more time with them, you can go check out the links that I put in the description box and go check them out. Um, in the description box, you will also find a free downloadable PDF tab so you can follow along with me. Chords will also be up in the corner. Let's get started. So, start with a D. Um, and the first strum pattern we're going to be doing is a down, down, up, up, down strum. So kind of just a classic strum, but we're going to be adding a little bit of left hand muting, which means that I'm just like lifting up my fingers just a tiny little bit, just to give it a little bit of a um, more syncopated feel. So down, down, up, up, down. That's all we're doing. Down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down. And then what makes it a bow diddly strum pattern is when you add two accented down strokes at the end. So it'd be down, down, up. We're going to go back and forth in between the two. Um, so for the verse, for the most part, you're just sticking to that island strum. And um, when you get to a chord change, you're going to do the two down strums. Um, so let's get started. It's going to be my grandma and your grandma were sitting by the fire. Here's where those two accented uh, down strums come. So now here's what I want to point out. We're going to go back to that down, down, up, up, down strum, and it goes right into the chorus. Um, you don't do that kind of accented two down strums like you would if it was a Bo Diddley thing because it'll make it, it'll throw off the whole rhythm for singing the chorus. Um, and I always kind of want to do that even though I'm not supposed to. So um, set your flag on fire, talk. I do the two down strums and then I'm going to go straight into that bow diddly strum pattern two times before I get to the next verse. So it'll be down, 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 up, down. Okay. And then you would start the next verse. So just real quick, let's break down that bow diddly strum pattern a little bit more. So it's down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. Okay. And again, I'm doing a little bit of left-handed muting just to add to that syncopation. All right, so that's pretty much the whole song. It just goes back and forth between, um, it's like a call and response thing, just verse and chorus, but um, I'll go through the rest of it with you without stopping just so you can see how it goes. So, look at my king all dressed in red, I go, I go on day. Bet you five dollars will kill you dead. Shaka won't be none in. Talking about A now, A now, A now, A now, I go, I go on day. Shaka won't be no anande. Shaka won't be none in. Then, My flag boy and your flag boy were sitting by the fire. My flag boy told your flag boy, I'm gonna set your flag on fire. Talking about A now, A now, A now, A now, I go, I go on day. Shaka Mofino, Anande, Shaka Mofino. See that guy all dressed in green, I go, I go on day. So now here's where it gets a little tricky. You repeat the, the chorus twice. So your natural inclination is to do exactly what you've been doing, which is to do that little bow delete, like two accented down strokes at the end, but you can't because it'll throw you off. So at that last line, Giacomo Binane, talking about, so make sure you stay with that down, down, up, up strum. So talking about A. Again, 
don't do the down strums that because it's you know that's again your inclination that's what you've been doing the whole time but you're also going to repeat the Giacomo finale two more times so that last line Giacomo finale song so I lied there's a little bit of a difference at the end but for the most part it's fairly simple there are also because this is a song that has an oral tradition a lot more verses I believe out there and I don't know them all so I based this on um, the Dixie Cups, Cups version which is kind of that famous one that was in Rain Man and stuff um, but you know uh, Dr. John's done it lots of other people have done it so if there are verses that you want to add on to it please put them in the comment box below I'd love to hear some more of them um, and uh, if you liked this video please hit like and subscribe it does help grow my channel and lets me know that you guys like learning stuff like this all right thank you have a good Mardi Gras <clears throat>